Popular Mechanics, 1959, 35 cent. Check out those, man, that road right in the red rocket, honey. Anyways, so many cars, only two lanes. What madness is this? Starting out with advertisements for cigars and boat motors. Back when guys used to be able to go out with boat motors. We got some stairways to the sea, some heroic years of automobiles. Parade of new cars. Now, see in spite of other car lights, man, I really hate it when people shine their brights at you. So ultimately what's going on here is these lights will, instead of pointing there, kind of point a little bit more towards that way and beyond so you can see more. And get a better job in accounting, always on page 7 it seems. We got a comic advertisement about uh, finishing school. Our oh, kids getting into fights because you didn't finish school. Listen to the mailman. Get some education, your husband will move. Legit, that's interesting. Basically, they're guilt-tripping dad, who has, is, he isn't even in this issue. It's remarkable how many advertisements there are in here to fix electronic appliances, which would have been kind of new in this time. Remember when your teacher said you wouldn't always have a calculator in your pocket? Well, even in the 50s it was possible to have a calculator in your pocket. I've seen some of these in second-hand stores. They're calculators. Analog, for her pleasure. Oh man, they put yellow on this page. You know it'd stand out then. Advertising air conditioning in the 50s and I'm still too silly to have it. It's just remarkable how many advertisements there are here for you to become your own business and how impossible it is to have your own business these days, it seems. Presto fire extinguisher, that thing is nothing size. Would you be able to end a fire with that, I wonder? Hydraulic jack repairs? I've never heard of one of those getting repairs. It's kind of like a chainsaw blade. Do you really want a refurbished one? I find the advertisements far more remarkable in these than the articles themselves. Buy a hand grenade. Come on, boys. Don't be sissies. Learn plastic fabrication at home? Yeah, I'd be into that, actually. Finish high school at home. Man, <laughs> did anyone care about finishing high school in the 50s? I think you'd be a lot more intelligent if you were a real estate person. You don't have to know much about anything. You just sell homes. Open the door. Okay, now these are legit interesting. The tube testers, you take a tube from a radio, you plug it in here, and it would tell you if it worked or if you had an issue. But back in the day, you had to have these tubes. Okay, top left. Portable transistor radio. Apparently this is the kind of radio that is the reason why we can't have any of our Wi-Fi things on as we're going onto planes and stuff like that. Somebody had a transistor radio like this while they were going up, and somehow it messed with the instruments in the cabin, and the plane went down. Now because of that, because of one of these, we can't have our devices turned on as the plane is taking off. Oh man, I bet this is one of those science kits where they give you like uranium and stuff. Investigate accidents. I'll tell you what happened. It was a murder. Ugh. Dog house life made easier with electric heating system. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't think that dog trusts it either. Feeling ruptured? Seriously, what, it, what are these ruptured things about? So these advertisements were the bread and butter. Um, classifieds? Yeah. This is where they made their money. Now you'll notice I've gone through about half the unit and there's only been mostly advertisements and that was to fund the magazine so that they could make more information, keep things cheap. 